Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It has been about a month since I've done my last shopper drop and definitely some releases that I know you guys have been curious whether or not I will be picking them up have come out. So I'm going to talk about them. Of course, this basically Will I Bite series was started off by my girl, Samantha March. All of the photos featured in this video, I am getting it from Trend Moods 1 Instagram page where she does all of the updates on what's new in makeup. So if you want to talk new product, and just keep watching. Oh, Alright you guys, let me be honest. I was actually looking at my list of purchases for the month of July and I really haven't purchased that much compared to what I normally do. I just feel like the releases are just kind of like here and there. Nothing really big and exciting has come out. It's just been releases to almost kind of hold us over. So because there haven't been any big releases, I was tempted to buy these little things that in normal circumstances I wouldn't actually buy. So I've been really trying to hold back so I haven't purchased most of the items in here. So this is pretty much an anti-haul because the releases I'm just not moved by if I'm being honest with myself and I just don't need any of this stuff but there are some things that I'm kind of teeter-tottering between all of that so uh let me just shut up so the first thing that we have I'm all the way back at June 30th so new information probably has come out about this but this is the Tiana Taylor and MAC Cosmetics collaboration I don't really purchase for MAC in their collections unless there's really a drop dead gorgeous collection I don't really feature them on my channel so I definitely will be dropping this from my list. Love the neon packaging. I think it's great. Tiana Taylor, she is she's amazing. So this actually came out July 14th so this is already available. TBH, not really interested in this. The colors look a little bit too bright. It's just reused and recycled MAC products that have already come out in different colored packaging in my opinion. So this collection, not a big fan of it. I mean, I don't know. In some occasions, MAC has kind of stepped up their game. They've done a good job. Uh, this one, I feel like they kind of took a step back. I'm not really into this one, but you get four lipsticks, four lip glasses, four lip pencils, and a mineralized skin finish. Nothing catching my eye here. This one. I definitely had to take a second look at because it is a gorgeous palette, you guys. So Violet Voss, this came out June 30th, so this is available now. Kind of old at this point since it's taken me a while to jump on this, but this is the Blossom Eyeshadow Palette, or the Sakura, Sakura Blossom, excuse me. So this is $42, you get 18 shades, and I think that this palette is beautiful. Violet Voss isn't really a brand that I feature on my channel, and though I would like to purchase this item for myself because I think it's pretty, I haven't really gotten too many questions from you guys about this product so for me it's just in my best interest not to purchase this but if you guys were interested in Violet Voss I would have purchased it but you guys don't seem to be I don't is anybody interested in Violet Voss nowadays I don't know but it's a beautiful palette and if you know this was done by a different brand I definitely would purchase it but not a smart purchase for me but it is a beautiful palette really enjoy that this I feel like is old news I don't know Maybe as I scroll up, we'll see if there is actually a release date for this. But this is the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette. And now this is a palette that I actually am very interested in. I love the look of those textured shadows. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I feel like Huda Beauty did that first with these texture looking shadows. This is the first palette from Urban Decay in a while that I like kind of raised my eyebrows a little bit. It's also different but the same. Of what they released like this packaging blah it's been done before but I actually like the look of this I like the look of the texture shadows it looks really pretty I'm going to say drop for now because it's not one of the brands that are on my radar as far as my channel goes but if you guys want to see it I'll be happy to pick it up because it does look quite pretty so I don't know that one I'm kind of thinking about shopping you guys let me know has it released already I don't know Ofra again is another brand I don't really talk about too much on my channel but I'll throw their products in every now and then but their new summer collection came out so they have this really large eyeshadow palette, a little blush trio, or a face palette trio, I guess, and two eyeshadow palettes. On Octoly, for a little bit, Ofra actually had some of their summer collection, so I ordered the big palette, and it's supposed to have shipped to me. I haven't gotten it, so I don't know if I'll actually end up getting it, but this pro palette, it looks boring. I wanted it because I've never actually tried the Ofra formula, so I feel like this would be a good way for me to try it. So this is on my way. Didn't like it enough to pay for it myself. I did order it, and they were kind enough to accept my 
my order. So I am excited to see that coming in. And that colorful eyeshadow palette also is really catching my eye. I wish I would have ordered it on Octoly. I don't know why I didn't. But that Quint looks so stunning. I feel like Oprah needs to change up their packaging or something. Something to make it a little bit more special because I'm underwhelmed but I'm curious. So that big palette's being given to me, so I'm excited to try it, excited to try the eyeshadow formula, but under normal circumstances, was I willing to put my own money onto these products? No. So I guess that's a drop. But this actually is a cute collection, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times, Ofra collections don't really excite me, so we'll see. Hmm. Okay, so this guy has already been released, but this is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara, and I definitely am very interested in it. I haven't watched any reviews on this yet. It is available, but I passed on it for now because I have so many mascaras. I'm really weird about mascaras. I cannot have more than, like, three open at a time because I really do feel like that's the first thing to mess your eyes up. My eyes get really sensitive to old mascara, so I don't want it sitting, but... If the reviews are really good, this definitely is a mascara that I'm interested in getting because it's that tubing mascara. So if I didn't have all the mascaras that I already had in line to be opened, I would have gotten this for you guys and for my channel and for myself but I had to drop it because it's not a good time but I still want it also I had to purchase the Pat McGrath one and that one was priority if I'm being honest so this is Jouer summer collection look she looks really cute my mom was really eyeing this I believe this is available now this is a champagne and macaroons collection from Jouer and I love Jouer cheek products I feel like as time has gone on it seems like they've kind of gone a little bit cheaper I don't know. I just, the way that they're changing their packaging, it just looks cheaper to me, not as luxurious. So I kind of back away. I get like made in China vibes, you know, um, where they compromise their formula. I'm not saying China formulas are bad. They're not. But a lot of times when brands shift to have their products made in China, normally there's just a difference in the formula and you can tell. Like they're looking for the cheap way out. But this does look really pretty. I, I think I'm going to drop it because again, it's just pretty. It's not calling out to me. I love these eyeshadow trios. They look really stunning. Ooh, those are cute. So the trios are going to be the set of four for $42. That's not bad. I mean, the only reason I am going to drop those though is because I know like those little trios, I'm going to use them once, review them, and then they're going to sit in my drawer and never be used again. I don't grab for products like those. So I am going to drop this from my list, but that lighter blush palette looks gorgeous. And the eye trios also look stunning. I think looks wise, they did a good job with this collection, but I guess I'm overwhelmed with makeup at this point. I, <laughs> I'm anti hauling the heck out of this video. Yeah, okay. I did mention this previously, but the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara has come and gone. I, of course, I did purchase it. It's Pat McGrath. So I had to. Um, I am wearing it right now. I've been testing it out. I didn't do like a right away review because I'm quite picky with my mascaras. I don't have a lot of lashes. So it takes me a while to get a feel for mascaras. But in the next coming of weeks, I will be featuring this mascara in a video, which I'm so excited about. Hint, hint. So far, I actually, I really am liking it. I don't know yet if I like it more than Fetish Eyes. I still need to do a side-by-side test. Test, but I really am liking this mascara. I think it's a little bit more separating for the fetish eyes I think makes my eyes look a little bit more voluminous. Anyways, yes, so I bought that. I shopped it It's already uh, on my eyeballs. Okay, can somebody please fill me in on what this kimchi beauty kimchi chic kimchi chic beauty thing is so this eyeshadow palette's $30. I don't know who this person is if I'm being completely honest, but I like the look of that palette I mean, I'm not going to get it, but I have seen things in the past from this brand and they're releasing and it's always been interesting to me because it's been very colorful. I don't know the creator of the brand. The products are starting to catch my eye. If you've tried this brand, is the quality good? Is it worth me looking into? I want to know. Uh, not on my radar, but I'll give it to them. They caught my eye for sure. Okay. Yeah, so this is one of the things I definitely wanted to talk about. The Raw Beauty Christie and Pure collaboration. I saw that first day of the release, how crazy it was. People were like, I waited five hours, eight hours, ten hours to get this palette. I really like the lashes in this line, and when she does a restock, I think I do want to purchase the lashes because they look gorgeous. But then again, I don't I don't need lashes, but I want them because I actually really like pure lashes. I've tried them in the past, and I think they're very pretty. The eyeshadow palette. 
I personally just decided to pass some. I'm not in a point financially where I could have justified this purchase. Like I keep saying, like I'm trying to save money. I'm at a weird shift in my life where I need to start putting my money and my purchases towards more important things. I love Raw Christie Beauty. I support her. I watch all her videos. She's a wonderful person. I'm so excited for everything that she has going on. But this palette, I didn't love it. I don't love it. I don't love the look of it. I've watched reviews. The quality seems good. And I actually have this palette on the way because one of my lovely, amazing subscribers, she's had an extra one and she's actually sending it to me so I'm so thankful so she actually has a YouTube channel I'm gonna link her channel down below for you guys she's so sweet I want to try this palette for sure the review seems to be pretty decent it just wasn't something for my budget that uh, I wanted to spend money on right now but it is important to me that I am like stay in the know you know, I want to at least be educated on these products. So I'm so thankful that one of my amazing subscribers is sending a palette to me. So I do get to try it. Originally wasn't going to buy it, but I'm very excited to give it a try. Also, Artist Couture, their new collection, the Caliente collection, gorgeous. Like this looks so beautiful. And had I not tried the Supreme Nudes collection previously, I would not have been interested in this at all. But that collection was so beautiful that I think this is a nice shift going from those nudes and kind of the more natural glam colors that he had before to this hot selection over here. I didn't get it. I did drop it from my list because again, overwhelmed with makeup over here right now. I've been enjoying the last couple of months digging into my collection using what I already have and what I didn't get the chance to use yet that was in my collection. Also, very hot, warm colors, not my color story. I think if this was a different color story, I definitely would have purchased it. But if you're into these colors, I would give it a go because so far everything that I've tried from his brand I think has been superb. Just not colors for me that I know I would reach a lot, so I have to pass on this. But it looks nice and it's available right now. So if you were curious about that, let's talk about this really quick. <laughs> this Becca Zero pigment collection, this is available now. There's already reviews up. I I've watched Makeup Molly's review and this is such a gimmick. Like I think it's just like a silicone primer basically where it's kind of gonna blur your pores but I think they have no right to really advertise this as a foundation. It's not. I, I don't... I think Becca has been needing some press or something. I don't know. It's a fact brands come out with these gimmicky things just to get their name out there. And I mean, it's working. Let's be honest. Everybody's like turning their heads to it. They're curious. I just don't see this working. I don't see the point of it. I don't know. Maybe you have it and you love it. I could be wrong. But for me as a consumer looking at this, you know, <laughs> you know, as a YouTuber though, coming from a YouTuber's perspective, I would want to buy this and review it because it's weird and it's something that you guys wouldn't want to spend your money on. But right now I'm trying to sit back as more of a consumer rather than a YouTuber and <laughs> no, I'm not going to purchase this. That's definitely a drop. So next up we have Patrick Star coming out with a brand. It's called One Size. I mean, people get so annoyed with all of these influencers coming out with their brands. I mean, whatever, like they're capitalizing on their following. I think it's fine. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of makeup brands out there, but the good true ones are the ones that are going to continue to do well. You know, if it's not a good brand, don't buy from it and time will tell the truth. But he came out with makeup remover products, which is really cool. I like the makeup remover spray and then he also has wipes. I'm not getting it. I think maybe Sephora sale, these actually do interest me. The spray is what interests me most. It's a spray to remove your makeup. I'm hesitant because I've learned that those makeup remover balms, they break me out. I don't know. I just like to stick to micellar water because I know that is what works for me. It doesn't break me out and then I'll use an oil cleanser. Yeah, I've just been very conscious lately of what I've been putting on my skin. And I find that what I use to remove my makeup also has a significant impact on my skin. I'm trying to give my skin a breathing of trying new products and so right now this isn't something that interests me but I think down the road especially for a VIB sale or maybe if 
some samples or like a mini size ever comes out. I would definitely be interested in this because I heard this dissolving mist is really good and I'm all for an easier way to take off your makeup. Uh, so right now, no, probably in the future I do want to shop this though. Okay, so these actually did catch my eye and it took a lot in me not to purchase these because old Morgan would purchase these. <laughs> but Dose of Colors came out with these beautiful eyeshadow quints and I do like their formula from what I've tried. I have a couple palettes from them and of course that green green one is the one that is catching my eye. I strongly considered buying this and doing a review for you guys. Ultimately, I passed, but that green one, you guys, I really want it. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's so pretty. <sighs> this is just me trying to talk myself out of buying things, honestly, but that looks really cute. Okay, I actually might pick up some of these if I see them in store. I've decided, like, I'm not on my low buy anymore. I'm not gonna, like, restrict myself from picking up any makeup, you know? But I still am trying to continue that conscious mindset. This one's three dollars, so I feel like, financially, this will be okay on me. This is the Bite Size Face Duo, so I think I'll wait for them maybe to come to Target. They are available on the e.l.f. website. These look like the Cover FX Duos, so I'm very excited to see maybe how those compare. And also, these are just look beautiful and I love how tiny they are perfect for travel and I love a good blush highlight duo so I am curious about these I think I will be buying them once I see them in store but I'm not gonna go out of my way to order them online or anything or maybe I'll like tack them on to a Ulta order but other than that probably look out for that I probably will purchase that eventually Okay, and this one I posted on my community tab, but BH Cosmetics came out with a new collection, and it's an ice cream collection, and they have these monochromatic palettes. I saw my girl, Leora, she bought these. They look gorgeous, and you guys know, I really like BH's formula. I just think the formula for the price is incredible. You know, they're not like groundbreaking eyeshadow formulas, but I love a good cheap palette. You know, if a brand can really produce quality, I do want to share that with you guys. So, naturally, I'm very tempted. Honestly, I probably will end up buying these. I did not purchase them first sight because I think if they had come out like with two palettes, I probably would have purchased two. But these are six palettes. And with my collection mindset, I can't just have one or two. It's all or nothing. So I went for nothing. But some of these look really gorgeous. And every day I'm more and more tempted to buy these. So tugging me off the edge. What should I do? Do you think I should get these? Every single one looks gorgeous in its own way. I'm loving the blue. I love the mint. I love Love the purple even like the cone brown one looks so stunning I need to keep it moving okay so Midas Cosmetics has come out with some new face palettes and I'm not gonna purchase these God knows I need another face palette but this did spark my interest in the brand itself I have been eyeing some products from the brand they have this like flower bomb palette which looks so beautiful that I want eventually so I'm eyeing the brand now I'm interested in seeing what their future releases are this particular release I will not be purchasing from but just looking at it I love how these are for different complexions this looks incredible incredible release but I'm definitely keeping an eye out for future releases from them Morphe is coming out with this Morphe to line or something I, don't know. I if you haven't seen with the ads and stuff this is basically in collaboration with some tiktokers I'm I'm on tiktok I don't I don't post but I watch and yeah I teach middle school so I know the girls that they're collaborating with basically they're targeting a younger audience really natural makeup and honestly I don't think this was a bad idea a lot of people were saying a lot of negative things especially you know them not collaborating with people who actually wear makeup whatever it's business that's how it is that's why all of these luxury brands you know they work with real models or real actresses this is no different they are targeting a younger audience and honestly I think these products are cute would I purchase them for myself absolutely not these do not look like any types of products that I would be interested in but I think it's nice that they're coming out with a age-appropriate line. I think a lot of time Instagram encourages younger girls to be wearing so much makeup and it's just not necessary. I say that though. <laughs> and in middle school, I wanted to wear a ton of makeup just because I loved makeup and I, whatever, there's nothing wrong with that. But this is age-appropriate stuff, so I'm happy to see it. I don't think it's bad. We don't know what 
this release is. I'm, of course, signed up to figure it out, but Wayne Goss Cosmetics is coming out with something, and I am very, very excited to see what it is. I hope it's a palette. I will be getting it probably no matter what it is, so <laughs> even though we don't even know what it is, you can expect me to shop that. And then Cover FX is coming out with a Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, normally, I would be interested in this. I'm tinted moisturizer out at this point. I've bought a couple for this season, and I'm happy to use those, especially just with me wearing a mask anyways. I'm actually not even wearing anything on my face. So even though it's summer, like I'm just not wearing anything. I'm wearing a lot on my eyes. That's my mask makeup. Eye makeup, nothing on the face. So this isn't something that I see myself really wearing. Last couple of things. We're seeing an end in sight here. So ColourPop is coming out with a Wild Nothing collection. Honestly, this collection looks so soft and so beautiful. I'm still thinking about it. It. They're coming out with some new products, what looks to be like a MAC Paint Pot dupe, some gorgeous light blushes, a nice light palette, and some lip oils. I almost want to purchase this collection just because I haven't purchased a lot <laughs> lately this month, and this collection is catching my eye, but I don't think it's anything unique. I don't think it's anything that anybody needs, but if enough of you guys are curious, I would consider picking it up. My problem with ColourPop, though, is that since I'm across the country from them, the shipping for them takes a really long time. And I'm always like the last person to get their launches, which is okay. But like, I like to be early, you know, it does help the channel. It helps the video. So I'm still on the fence. I don't know if it's quite worth it for me to purchase this whole collection because lately they've been coming out with collections that I knew right away I was purchasing no matter what. I don't feel this way about this collection, but I do really like it and I would like to own it. So I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that one. This this looked beautiful. I was very close to purchasing it because I am all about packaging and pretty things, but on the Huda Beauty website, a highlighter released. It looks gorgeous. How much is it? It's $40. Oh no, definitely dropping that. I mean, I know this is something that would be a waste of money anyways, so I knew I wasn't going to buy it, but I thought about it for a second there, and this looks beautiful, but none of us need it. Please, uh, don't get that. Ooh, so Fenty came out with a new gloss bomb shade. This is the color Cheeky. That's adorable. This looks like a great color for summer. You know what? I'm not gonna rush out to buy this. I think next before a VIB sale or maybe if this comes in a set. I do like this color. I have all of the colors from this collection anyways, so I don't need this, but it's a cute color for summer. Last thing, then I'm done. I think I ran through a lot of products today, but it looks like a new Major Glow collection from Patrick Ta is coming out. So we have a lip mask, a dewy milk mist glass skin mist, and a all over glow balm. So the only thing that I'm interested in this collection is the dewy milk mist. This is $38. Oh, so this has already launched. I haven't mentally prepared myself to purchase that. I have a lot of mists. I need to stop. I almost said I was gonna buy this mist. Let me chill out for a second. <laughs> okay, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to talk about today. So those are my thoughts on the new makeup launches that have come out. For the most part, I think brands are just trying to push random products out. There hasn't really been anything amazing that has been catching my eye and that I need. So that's that. That's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.